Alright guys, Legionnaire Archery here. Today I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tell you guys a story. It's a story time. Uh, one time uh, when I was when I was cutting wood up north, uh, we got caught by the cops. So this is the time when we almost got put away for uh, cutting wood. And so it must have been about six, seven years ago when this happened. So I usually don't tell, uh, or I haven't I haven't told any stories. But there's some crazy stories of uh, of me trying to get some bow wood here where I live I live in the in, in the desert area and we don't have much in the way of bow wood because you know we don't have many trees we have uh, these uh, citrus trees but they're not really good for bow making and so uh, sometimes when you know when I want to get bow wood I either have to buy it or I mean there are trees but you know most of the time they're gonna be in residential areas this one time I was going up north to visit a friend and I had gone in there before with another friend the one that showed me where the uh, wood was at these were all um, these were actually Osage orange trees up in the Sacramento California area so um, whoever is familiar with the area over in Sacramento knows that there's Osage orange or maybe you never thought there was Osage I was surprised to find out like what there is Osage in Sacramento I was like damn so uh, my friend a fr the first friend that took me there showed me uh, I was going to school up north and I went I went to visit him and he showed me where the place was at and uh, a few years after that I needed more bow wood so I says well I'm gonna make my tr uh, my way my way up there because I live down in Southern California so it's about a good seven hours eight hour drive to uh, to go uh, to Sacramento and so I made my way over there I took my, my I borrowed my, my dad's truck I went up there I stayed at the friend's house and then the, the next day we were supposed to go cut some uh, some of the Osage and so you know we wake up he says hey don't worry about the, the chainsaw I got it so we take a chainsaw uh, he, he got the chainsaw it was like a craftsman chainsaw um, I got a uh, just a handsaw that I took with me and so we just went over to the place uh, in this place it's in a remote area it's like countryside there's a lot of uh, just grass and vacant property vacant land there's fencing and you got the road and the road has the road is like raised up and there's two banks like on the on both sides you it dips down and so the Osage is actually there on the uh, on on that uh, on the banks there on the side on, on one side of the road you got a ton of trees they're just lined up boom basically I would you know, use them for hedge trees and so they're just lined up there they're huge and uh, you know I go there I park the first time I went there we I parked in the same spot where, where we had parked which was in front of a gate and so I mean there's just on the other side it was just grassland so we were like I was like hey, let's just park here I parked here last time there shouldn't be an issue I parked there and we get off we get the chainsaw off and so I mean there's we don't have any permission to be doing this so we're just like hey let, let's let's go check out and see which tree you know which limbs we're gonna cut which trunks we're gonna cut because uh, you know cutting bow wood you gotta make sure it's nice and straight you want the straighter pieces and so that's what we were doing we, we were uh, we went inside we started like saying oh you know what this is a good piece let's let's do it let's take this one take that one whatever right so you know we start cutting ooh, I start cutting the pieces uh, we took pieces that were about uh, anywhere from uh, three to four inches in diameter upward to about six inches in diameter that was like the biggest ones uh, we were cutting and so it must have been like 45 minutes to an hour that we were there in the bank in the banks on the side of the road and so you really can't hear like there's cars going um, on the road they, they go next to you on the road but I mean you just hear the cars uh, pass by and so because it's a long stretch it must be about a hundred a hundred and yeah about a hundred yards that's lined up with the Osage and so we were pretty far in away from the truck uh, because you have the road and I parked the truck next to the road 
and there was a gate and the fence that runs along it and then the, you have the Osage there between the road and the fence and so we were in there and you really can't see us because we were we were um, we were there in the hedges and so my buddy that's with me he's like um, I says hey go just check on the truck I just you know there's nothing around so I don't, I don't want anything to you know we don't want it to be stolen or whatever so he comes up the bank and into the road and he's like dude shit oh my god oh my god the cops are there I'm like what so I says you know what <clears throat> come over come over grab some of the oranges because the Osage as you know has you know it gives out that fruit that you really can't eat but I just start grabbing a few of those and I says just grab these just pretend we're collecting these and so we come up into the road we make our way towards the car and sure enough there's a highway patrol there and uh, or a sheriff I forgot who I don't I don't know if it was a sheriff or a highway patrol I forget but there's a cop car there and so you know we just start making our way over the, I, I, I see that I, I don't really see the cop because there's some the foliage kind of covers the car I just see the back and so as I start making we start getting closer then I start just seeing the whole picture the reason my friend was so scared is because he was studying to be a lawyer so any type of like uh, misdemeanor or anything like that pretty much bye bye career and so he was just scared shitless I was like scared because you know number one that's not my truck I don't want it to be towed away if my dad's truck I, I, would, I would feel like shit if that happens so I get there and the cops there and the gate is open and there's like 20 cars like lined up trying to get through <laughs> we were like I was like what the hell so we get there and the cops like whose car is this so like hey sorry sir it's our car you know what we're so sorry we were collecting these oranges and uh, we didn't know that you know people people went uh, through this gate there there seemed there seemed to be nothing so the people on the other side they were like I, I don't know what they were doing they it looked like they were working some type of like state agency and so they were like you guys we need to get to our lunch it's been like 20 minutes since we've been here and we need to get out of here so my friend goes to the cop and like, I'm so sorry, officer. Um, it's totally m my fault. I apologize. You know, I I I want. I says, hey, shut up, dude. Let's let's go. And the, the cop just said, you guys need to get out of here. Just get out of here. Um, and move the truck. They gotta get through. So I was like, yeah, hey. And he just kept trying to apologize to the cop. I'm like, hey, dude, just get in the car. He already said to you know get out. So he gets in the car. I just. Pull, I pull I pull I, I pull back and we just drive uh, like about a mile a mile away the town uh, there's a little town there so we just park in the uh, in, in in the little store that's there we go inside we get something and we're just like catching our breath because you know I, you know both of us got scared we were like shit because number one we had no permission to be cutting cutting there and you know Number two, we had a bunch of people out there. What I think happened though was that the cop uh, or the sheriff or highway patrol, whatever, whoever it was, he seemed to be new. He was a younger guy, maybe you know, he was like between 28, 30 years of age. And he was a little newer, so he really didn't know how to handle the situation. And so I think we, were, we got lucky that you know, we were not questioned. He just wanted to get us out of there so that the people can get, get across the to get across the uh, gate there and so you know we were just so relieved my friend didn't even want to go pick up the um, the wood he didn't want to go back to pick up the wood but I was like no hell no we did the work we you know we had like I believe around six to eight logs it was a good number actually yeah it was more like eight probably even more but it was a good number of it was a good number of logs and it was a lot of wood so I was like no we're going back we're gonna pick it up the only thing is we're not going to park in the same spot we parked so you know when we went to pick up the the stuff we parked just on the side of the road and we just went down to the bank 
and uh, we just hauled the wood up and st stuck it in the back picked up the chainsaw and we left and so at his house we went ahead we split we, we split the staves and we split up the boat with my friend was like dude you can keep the chainsaw I'm, I don't need this anymore <laughs> so I was like all right man thank you I got a free chainsaw off of that and I used that chainsaw actually to cut more bow wood but um, that is one of the times when I almost got caught uh, by the cops I got a few more stories like this which I'll be sharing with you of uh, cutting uh, bow wood um, without permission <laughs> let's just say that but uh, that's the story hope you guys liked it uh, thanks for watching if you have any any stories like this Feel free to share them down in the comment section i'd be uh it, it's fun to read these types of experiences anyways thank you for watching guys